Oh, I forgot to arrange gins. It's fine. We're gonna we'll de we're gonna demonstrate what happens if you aren't properly set up for this. Cause I kind of want to take a moment. This on one hand, I want to take a moment just to sink in the moment. But on the other hand, this is a bit rough a fight. Um, who do I want to start to focus on? It's foremost. Oh, that's right. This gives us access to energy as well. So, me heartbreak. The custom made super boss for Golden Sun Dawn Jin. We actually got really lucky. Most of the time playtesting, he actually he actually makes it that if we don't lead off with Jin's in our first turn. That hurts real bad. Cool. <laughs> so, I don't want to spoil what. We got Heartbreak and Lord of Jin. They're a pair that make this fight really po powerful when working together. Lord of Jin has a gimmick, but instead of explaining it, I'm just gonna go through the battle and see if he can catch on. Or at least say how quickly it takes to catch on to the gimmick. Heartbreak, on the other hand, has many powerful attacks. Can also use gins like we can. And the rest we'll see as we go along. The, the fumes that we got hit with a few times. Not a, not a, uh, I'm so used to it doing more to be perfectly honest, but it can be pretty the fact that it resets our stats boost makes this fight pretty devastating in of itself. I believe this can delude us. Let's see, what was the last thing it did? It did a water move. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. You know what? Fine. Let's just show what happens why I got so paranoid over the fact that it, that it did rapid last turn. Because this is usually the part of the fight where things go downhill when it does Maelstorm. Half our team is out of commission. The only the two main ways to counter that is one, outspeed it, which is pretty tough to do. You basically have to not only boost your speed, but lower its speed in order to outspeed it. But the main way to handle that is to use is to save Wade for the turn that it goes for that move. Obviously, because we have ground, it's a little easier, but obviously, it's a very big synergy drop. So it probably wouldn't be a probably be a good idea not to spam it. Also, yeah, it heals. That was actually carryover back from when that was a gin in dungeon, but it also helps to balance it out and keep. Make you at least sink a little before spam get repeatedly. Alright, so we... The Maelstorm just happened, so... I kinda wonder if having Doom Squall is gonna make... Nah, uh, it's not gonna make this easy too, is it? I mean, I actually would be sad if we beat this first try. Like, I have so many, so much nostalgic... It's, it doesn't feel old enough to be nostalgic, but... The memories are so positive they feel nostalgic of just playtesting this fight. There'd be times I just spend the entire night. Oh. I can't remember if I left that in on purpose or not. Cause I don't recall if there's a good way for them to actually recover from that.
Oh shoot, I wasn't even paying attention to count. <laughs> but that's the other big thing it does. It also summons Meteor. Which... I'm actually kind of surprised that we didn't get more screwed over than that. Considering it can just wipe us out completely. I definitely had a lot of battles where... Sorry, I'm just... There's a lot to take in. <laughs> But it definitely had so much to take in, I kind of forgot what I was even saying. Oh, I had a Phoenix Swing this whole time? Well, let's bust it open, I guess. Okay, I do have antitoxins. Guess now is a good time as any to bring them open. Well, in case we don't see it, the whole gimmick with the Lord of Jin is that it alternates between Ginny and Synergy. Or should I say. It alternates between Ginny and Powerful Attack. Ginny and Powerful Attack. Usually Synergy is up for the last one where it goes for a summon. So once you start noticing that attack pattern, the whole point is that you plan when to use Jin's like J like Wade for the turns that it doesn't attack. And I'm not sure if I've gotten better or this game's age because I think there's definitely a lot of times that I spend a lot of nights just relaxing by doing this over and over and over again to the point trying to get to the point where I could actually beat it consistently even without all this <laughs> BS luck happening in our favor and I would just like silence the music and play Genophemes on top of it And just make for some of the most funnest moments of my of my life. Before I continue that story, I completely forgot to mention about the fact that like a lot of gins that she's been using are gins from Golden Sun Lost Age. But her it's not really an evil Jenna like it makes it out to be. Let's see if this works, just because it's it's been so much time. It's not, it doesn't got too much longer to live anyways. I don't want to, like, completely in the air of mystery, but there was a bit of foreshadowing to all this in the books that we read over in Toby. But the whole gimmick of heart, there's like, a, there is a little lore to, to the heartbreak chest. I'm just conflicted about if I actually want to go into it at all. Okay, I think I've been getting a little too zealous for my own liking. Cause, oof. I mean, I, I gotta use the water of life, there's no other way out of this. Oh no, I completely forgot about the mana storm. I mean, the good news is that it's 4v1 now. Or 1v1. If I can get everyone back up, I can still... survive this somehow. To be fair, this is what should happen your first time doing the heartbreak fight. The other side was, it felt like I was... I'm glad I still lost, even though I felt like I was cheesing so much. But it also kind of felt like I only lost because I got I got too overconfident and stopped paying attention to things. <laughs> but oof. Yeah, White Mage has break, if nothing else. Alright, I think this is as much diddle daddling that we could possibly get. Let's open up this totally normal treasure chest that I'm over preparing for for nothing. And let's see if I can talk about the super boss better than before. So, first thing, strats, and then stories went to tell. Oh, that's right, level 30. We have Roaring Dragon, and guys are crashed. And also, like, I said I wasn't going to use ground, but I didn't say I was gonna use the soul, wasn't going to use the soul plate itself. Okay, 
So, especially starting from a fresh save. I think we get- I think it, the battle just didn't go as I expected before, because... Golden Sun has weird RNG. It's the simplest way I can put it. So, starting from a fresh save, like, right now... The battle will play out- Any battle in Golden Sun plays out relatively similarly if you start from a fresh reset. Because we went right from last three when we went right from a boss to another boss, the RNG played out a little differently because the game was running for a bit. So this time is probably going to go the way I'm used to it going from playtests and that, so because of that I think it's especially important to make sure everyone goes for Jin's this turn. And I just remember why my usual strat is to have a Jin on every party member. Well, um, hindsight 2020. Sure, we can, you know what, we can try. I, it'll at least give me a good opportunity to show you. Nah, I mean, actually on the... Actually, I think I'd rather go for Cloak for safety. First of all, he leaves off with ground. <laughs> so, Garrus out of the picture. Typically how I'm used to this fight going, and I'm not sure why RNG didn't work that way this time, is usually starts out his turn doing the frickin' Meteor Summon, and I get unlucky enough, constantly get unlucky enough to have the majority of my party get synergy sealed first turn. So if I go for sub, normally when I go for sub synergy, it bites me in the butt because half my party can't move. Granted, we still weren't able to really move too much, but hey. Now, I did, because this is the only battle we get to do so, I did want to at least show off how... I did at least want to show off how the Soul Blade works in this game, because considering it's technically an item that normally didn't exist until the Lost Age. Oh, I said I wasn't going to use that in this fight, just for demonstrational purposes. Yep, there it is. The roof was fine. We'll let him attack a couple more times and see if people can catch on to the pattern before I give it away. Yeah, no luck there. I'll keep attacking normally until either we get deluded or I actually show off the unleash. But yeah. Losing speed this turn, not too bad because we can just use Vine to lower their turn speed in exchange. And once we actually get something like Rapid or Mass Agility off, then it'll be pretty even. And I'm getting a little overzealous, so. Wish now, and we can start berating them with our powerful water synergy a little later on. I'm, I, for, I, I forgot already if I went for a pure wish, and that honestly might be a little bit overkill. But it is what it is. Anyways, well, I'm stalling for time to actually reveal the strats behind the boss. Let me talk a little bit more about other aspects of this boss we're fighting. This is Heartbreak. It looks like an evil Geno, but it's not quite. We got a little foreshadowing to this boss all the way back in Toby. Specifically the line of dialogue from the book that said, Beware of the chest deep in I forget the exact wording, but beware basically beware of the chest deep in the heart of the island of power or something like that. It not it not it's not it doesn't it tests your will and might. And I feel like I'm kind of... Might have even said... Takes on... A, oh, it's that it takes on a shape specifically to test your will and might. So, lore to a super boss <laughs> that they just made up on the spot one day. The Heartbreak Chest actually is made as a testament to test out warriors. And it takes on a form to... Test their will as well as their strength. So let's just say that the appearance as Jenna is not a mere coincidence. I feel like you can piece to get piece it together from there. 
as for the boss itself, it as you might expect from being the a custom made super boss for this fight, it has some of the strongest attacks in the game, including a bunch of custom stuff specifically for this fight. And I just <laughs> definitely feel like I've been getting a little zealous considering just how easy things went last time. Did someone go for a wish, by the way? I also gotta be careful not to get so caught up in commentary that I lose track of what the Lord of Jin is doing, because not being in the secret to being the Lord of Jin is to pay attention to his attack pattern. That's why I've been so hesitant to just flat out give away said attack pattern. Okay, he's probably gonna remind myself that I have potions and waters of lies. That's right, I wanted to go for rapid. Um, let's just go for Breeze again because we took a bit of a beating. I believe we still have a speed boost, right? Yeah. So... <laughs> I was just about to go for the speed boost Jin when we already had a speed boost. <sighs> I forgot what... I got, I'm saving Wade for a particular moment. It'll become clear when we actually get to that point. Unfortunately, I forgot what move Ward Jin did last time, so... Already in a little bit of an awkward spot. Let's see... I guess I'll just go for Breeze again, because I don't know what else to do this turn. And this will do water damage as well, so... Just in case. I believe Isaac's going for the Wish, so I might as well go for Freeze Prism with Mia. Okay, I'm gonna just take that as yes. There was a bonus to get rid of. Alright. Not quite pure wish good, but it works. Okay, this is it. Rapid, which is a few speed boost, is bad enough in itself, especially in combination with Blizzard's fume. Basically replacing Serpent Fume or whatever the final stage. Of uh, Genesis Fume line normally is. Because it's a special version of Fume. I think it's. I forget if it's as strong or just slightly weaker than normal Fume, but I'm gonna just go for Wade now. Because I don't want. It did a Water Gin. So I don't want to see what happens next. I can always just clip in a clip from last stream if you're incredibly curious. But I think now's a good time as any to reveal that the Lord Jin runs out of pattern, kind of similar to the Ghost. And to help make the pattern a little easier to follow, it has a pattern within the pattern of Jin Move Synergy. Jin Move Synergy. One except the exception being at the very end of the attack pattern, when it goes for Mika. Oh, if you don't already know, we'll just let it happen. But anyways, it did the water move, so I knew it did a water gin, so I knew the water move was coming up next. And it's Battlestorm, you know that super annoying power, super annoying synergy that only bosses get, that like keeps everyone from not moving. Yeah. You can imagine why I'm prioritizing that. Anyways, now that Isaac's got all of his gins back, ah, screw it. We only, it's only one Mercury gin, but... Who has other Mercury gins while I'm singing a bit? Sure, you're a dragon, so you're... So I've been faster, so... I'm just gonna go straight for Nerati. Just do any old random gin with I've been, and we'll have it back by the time we actually need his spells for anything. And we got to Jupiter Ginny, so I think it's a good time to go for that as well. Alright, see, we burned a little synergy, so I think it's a good good time as any for Angler. And as for Mia... Uh, let's be on the safe side and go for a wish well. Oh, here comes Mika, by the way. <laughs> the Heartbreak enemy in and of itself isn't anything to sneeze at either. It takes a lot of cues from 
Jens from Golden Sun The Lost Age to do pretty nasty things to us, as well as a lot of the powerful synergy and moves that we've seen it do so far. If you recognize the names from Lost Age, you can pretty much assume that they have the same effects as the Lost Age Jens. Anyways, Mika happened this turn, so I gotta make sure to actually remember to use... Actually, I shouldn't even bother going for synergies at all. I think we're still good on speed minus Isaac. And we found a good opportunity. I'm just... Let's take a chance to try to see if I can get the Soul Blade to trigger it. Anyways. What I want to do is use Chasm with Garrett. And I'm not even going to bother going for synergy with anyone this turn. You know, yeah, this is a good time as I need to go for Pyrrhid. Because if you two use Jenny, then that's summon next turn. Yep, here comes the giant meteor in the face <laughs> to greet us hello! And remember from Donjin gimmick, it can seal synergy. And that's why I want to make sure I use Chasm. I didn't want to get too carried away with Jin, because typically how that goes is that it summons, and like three of my four party members get their synergy sealed. Now I'm sure we'll get to see the Soul Blade action eventually. Also, we gotta remember it didn't work on the Lord of Jin. But it's fine, I guess we, it gives us a good opportunity to show off something else with... Show up another new ability. Alright, so I'm gonna just go for Ramsey's, not get too fancy. Yeah, here it is, break, break Strike. It's a physical attacking move, or it's physical attacking synergy, but also... Oh. It's a physical attacking synergy, but also gives her way synergy seal. Well, I guess out of all four party members, Garrett is probably I can the summon is probably the thing I can wait on doing next turn the most. Oh, and I know we got the unleash to show off with this eventually. You know, it's kinda a good thing that I didn't bother to actually <laughs> Go for the speed boost on Isaac again, because apparently it wouldn't even matter. Oh, I'm tempted to go for Geyser Crash because that would be stronger. But we gotta show off Magneto, especially because even that might even be stronger in the short term. Anyways, I guess while we're All right, summon first, and then I guess I can go for. Some, show off some ninja abilities or something. Yeah, I guess there's something else to do with Ivan. Boost our resistance wouldn't hurt. And of course with like one gen short to actually go for... The Prism. The... Why am I already blinking out on the final stage of Prism? The final stage of- I'll just say the final stage of Prism. Here's another thing that I'm surprised we haven't really ran too much- Okay, yeah, of course I spoke too soon. Oh, and wait, what? I thought- I thought Mia was full on HP. How did she die already? This is- okay, this is- This is typically how the Heartbreak Super Boss fight goes. Badly. <laughs> Oof. I can't even be mad. I'm actually ha I was actually really worried that just because I was level 30 that I wouldn't get to have fun with this. You know, hindsight might have been smarter to actually go for a revive, but uh, hey. Also, I kind of realized I gave myself a little candy cat by saving at the end of the last stream. And having any items I actually used in the boss fight go to waste. It's fine. I think we still have like two water lives on each party member, so. If anything, it'll, it helps balance out the fight. Okay. Start a new turn. Um, 
the safe thing would be to go... Oh, I forgot to, like... You know, I'm gonna just do it now to have my more ideal setup. 